Hi everyone, it's Rachel back with the Shades of Orange and today I'm here to do a spoiler free review of The Last Girl Support Club by Grady Hendrix. It's the book that I received from the publisher for review and the basic premise of this book is that it follows a group of final girls, meaning women that have survived massacres and now they get together as a support group just like the title says in order to work through their trauma. They have been meeting for the last 15 years and the story is told primarily from one girl's perspective and she has her worst nightmare take place when one of the other girls in the group goes missing and basically they find out that she has possibly been murdered and the story goes from there. Now I'm saying girls but these are actually older women who again you know are 15 years past their original massacres and are just really dealing with the aftermath and so in the story you find out that each of these women has dealt with their trauma in a different way. The main character kind of takes on the role of what Laurie Strode became in the sequel to Halloween where you see that she is really tough and wanting to be very prepared for another situation to occur. Other people have dealt with it in different ways and you get to see that I don't want to give away too much of the plot because again I am someone who really wants to give you an idea of the story without taking away too much of your own reading experience. I will say that if you like Grady Hendrix's other books, you're almost certainly going to like this one. If I were to compare it to any of his other books, I think it is most similar to Southern Book Club's Guide to Vampires, and I think also has thoughts and ideas similar to what you would see in My Best Friend's Exorcism. But really, this has all the hallmarks of classic Grady Hendrix. So first off, he is so aware of the horror genre and is just aware of the slasher movie tropes and he plays into them in a good way but he does so very intentionally knowing that his audience knows those tropes too and so the book isn't overly meta but it's very self-aware and he's just very smart you get references to supposedly fictional movies that are definitely meant to represent things like scream and halloween and all of that and so if you're a big fan of slasher movies and also slasher books this one will appeal to you because of the fact that it is the slasher genre it is going to feel a little bit more like a thriller than a horror book because there isn't going to be lots of supernatural elements in here but the book is just you know exactly what you would expect it to be I really did get the story I got from the premise it really did deliver that and so I also want to acknowledge that Grady Hendrix is really really good at doing female characters I've heard so many people say that male authors cannot write women, they just can't do it, it's terrible. Grady Hendrix proves that that is not true. I would say that he is actually better than some female writers at writing women. His women just feel like real people, they are complex, they are well developed and fleshed out, and the relationship between the women is really well done. And again, if you like that in My Best Friend's Exorcism and The Southern Guide to Vampires, you will find that again in this book. So lots to love here, lots to appreciate. And here's where I need to give my own personal bias that while I appreciate all the things I just mentioned in this book, I did not love this one. And that comes from the very niche fact that I have this unpopular opinion that I like and appreciate Grady Hendrix's books, but I just do not love them for some reason that I've never been able to quite articulate. So for me, basically it's the fact that I just can never get lost in his story. Somehow the way that he structures his narrative just never really lets me completely fall into the story. I'm always aware that I'm reading words on the page, if that makes sense, and I can never quite get past that. But I've had that struggle with basically every single one of his books where I want to like it. It is a topic I enjoy. It is a style that I enjoy, but somehow it just never comes together the way I want it. To. So I want to acknowledge from a objective perspective, I do think that this book is fantastic. I think people are going to love it, but I also need to acknowledge the fact that in terms of my own reading enjoyment, I liked it, but I didn't love it. And it just, it was not a five-star read. Full disclosure, it's not going to end up on my best of the year list just because personally I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. And that pains me because I put his books on my most anticipated list 
every single year and I'm always hoping that the next one will be the one that just takes it home for me. So all that being said, if you're a mega fan of Grady Hendrix already, I do think that you're going to enjoy this one a lot. And if you're new to his work, honestly, I don't think I'd actually recommend starting here. I don't think it's his strongest book, so I'd probably say either go with My Best Friend's Exorcism or The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, both of which I think were stronger stories. But absolutely, if you already love his work, you honestly don't even need my review. He is a very consistent writer and I think you'll enjoy this one as well. So that's it for my video review. I hope you enjoyed it even if you disagreed with my oh so unpopular opinions. Uh, if you're new to my channel consider subscribing. I do read and review a lot of new releases for horror as well as thrillers, science fiction, and fantasy. And consider giving this video a thumbs up even if you didn't agree with my opinion. If you appreciate how I do reviews and keep them spoiler free, I do appreciate uh, those little likes and nudges and you can drop a comment, give your feedback, and all that being said, I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.